Welcome to another edition of Hunt to Eat's Community Kitchen. My name is Michael Cravens, and today we are making honey hot squirrel legs. These are delicious, they're great for parties, great for an everyday lunch, and they're simple to make. So let's get started. Here we go, we got our squirrel parts. We have rear legs, which are one of the best bites. The back saddle, along with what we like to call squirrel bacon, uh, another one of the best bites. The ribs, not so much, but I just can't bring myself to throw that meat away, so I'll, uh, I'll work on those on my own and we'll just leave them off the plate. The front arms, those are pretty good too, and that's all we need. First thing we're going to do is just give these a good salt. Now if we had nice young squirrels, we could throw those straight on the grill, but these are old, tough squirrels, so they're going to take some pre-cooking to get tender. In this case I'm going to use a really uh, a basic pressure cooker and about a cup of leftover stock I had. Uh, you could use water here too, it doesn't really matter. Also, if you don't have a pressure cooker, you can simply braise these squirrels, but plan accordingly because that's going to take a few hours to get them nice and tender. An Instapot would work really well here as well, but I'm using a pressure cooker. This is super fast and a really convenient way to do it. So after we put our squirrel pieces in the pot here, we'll get them cooking. Now once you get that lid locked on tight, you will set your range to a medium high heat to build the pressure in that pressure cooker. Now your cooking time is going to vary based on your elevation. I'm down here in the Phoenix Valley. I set my timer for about 8 minutes. Err on the side of less time because you don't overcook these. If you do, that meat's going to be falling off the bone, which can be great in some applications. But in this case, we want something we can take a bite out of. So err on the side of caution here. You can always cook something more. Now leave that range on medium high and stick around. Watch that indicator. And as soon as that indicator pops all of the way up, that's when you want to turn that range down to low and set your timer for the eight minutes. Once that timer goes off, you can let that pressure cooker sit cool down and release the pressure slowly, or you can stick it under some cold running water, and it only takes about a minute in this case. But you will see that indicator go down. A lot of times you will hear an audible release of pressure. Regardless, and admittedly, I'm still a little nervous every time I open one of these. Now, don't be overly disappointed by the looks of what we got so far, because really all this is is just boiled meat. Boiled gray meat. Not very impressive. Uh, but. It's going to look better soon, I promise, so hang in there. Also, don't forget to save that stock in there. That's good stuff. So it's time to make our sauce. I just made this sauce up out of what I had in the kitchen, but it turned out wonderful, so I definitely recommend it. It's easy to make. All you need is a stick of butter, about three quarters to a cup of sriracha, one third cup of honey, and about a teaspoon of onion powder. So let that continue heating on low and give that beautiful concoction a stir every once in a while until you get everything to a nice even consistency. All right, so nobody wants to eat just gray boiled meat. So we're gonna take our now tender squirrel parts and we are gonna put them on a hot charcoal grill to give them a good char and add a lot of extra flavor. Now, depending on how hot your grill is, this can all happen pretty quickly. So keep a close eye. You don't wanna burn these up to crisps. You just want a good char. So, so keep an eye on them. Keep flipping them until you get to the point you want them to be. And of course, once you got them there, got a nice char on them, just go ahead and take them off. All right, back in the kitchen, we're gonna add our sauce to these beautiful pieces of squirrel. And then all that's left is to give them a good toss and plate them up. While these honey hot squirrel legs would be perfectly pleasing all on their own, I recommend serving them up classic buffalo wing style, accompanied by a side of ranch and carrot and celery sticks. Mm. 
My name is Michael Cravens, and this has been Hunt to Eat's Community Kitchen.